So welcome back to Toronto. Like thank I say, you. it would not be a festival without Julianne Moore here. So it's always <laughs> great to have you. Thanks. Um, thanks. Nice to be here. Wow. Uh, where do I even start with this movie? It is mm -hmm. so fantastic. I, I so loved it. Thank and you. I have to tell you, it made me so uncomfortable. Yeah. Did you feel like that when you first read it? Uh, it's tricky stuff, you know. It's really, really tricky, very intimate stuff. But I felt that if it was going to be in anybody's hands, Adam was the right person to handle it because he's not. There's, there's nothing, um, nothing sensationalistic or prurient about Adam's work. You know, his 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 work is so much about behavior and relationships and identity and who we are in any given circumstance and how we relate to each other. So I felt like that. You know, I, like I understood what kind of movie he was going to make. Yeah, uh, wonderful performances in this, all, all across Thanks. the board. All yeah. of you were so wonderful. But I, you know, I, I have to ask you about working with Amanda because mm -hmm. it's such an intense relationship between the two of you. Mm -hmm. And here she is, you know, this 23-year-old who uh, you know just came off Mamma Mia, and then whoa, dives into something like this. How did you um, become at ease with her and help her through it? It was pretty clear that she was going to be um, comfortable with it right from the beginning. I and mean, we had a very informal read-through. And, and you can kind of, you know, read-throughs are, are, are always make you a little bit nervous because it, it sort of can set the tone for a movie. You can see where people are comfortable and where they aren't. And she was very, very present and very alive and, and, and sure of what she was doing. I didn't have to help her along at all. I mean, it was never a matter of that. She was my, you know, she's my peer. Um, and it was a matter of having a, a partner in, in all that stuff. And, uh, you know, for me, I felt really lucky because the scenes are about talking to each other, you know, all of them, actually. And, 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 her, and the relationship I have with her is actually the kind of the most frank relationship in the film. You know, we actually are, we're oddly uh, connecting in which way. Well, we don't often get to see you as uh, vulnerable as this. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy that? It was hard, you know. It was it was a hard. The movie was hard because it was so nuanced. Um, so you always felt like there was further you could go, um, and you never, you know, you, you didn't always know if if that was the if you were setting the right tone or what was going on, and um, because often the way we communicate is what, about what we don't say, not not what we do say. Yeah, and um, well, as you say, I mean, all your scenes with her talking, but there mm -hmm. is a touching scene there. Mm -hmm. That's you know, a first for you too, I think. Um, woman. Well, has it? Almost. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let me think. <laughs> yeah. Few, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm mostly with yeah, but with the guys mostly. Guys, no problem. Yeah. I don't have an issue with that. It's, it, you know, like I say, I'm comfortable. I, I right. Know, but yeah. Scene, but you know, like yeah. do stuff like that. It's never easy. You got a crew watching you. It's never easy. That stuff is never easy. Um, well, I think what helped was how present Amanda was and and how how I, I think both of us sort of were like okay here we go let's do this and this, it, the, the crew was very respectful Adam is always respectful and careful and um, you know we just sort of we just sort of do it yeah. um, working with Liam Neeson mm -hmm. oh my gosh you guys had really wonderful chemistry even when it's mm -hmm. like you don't know you're at odds yeah working with that man must have been wonderful. he was wonderful and I think the one thing that we felt very pleased about um, when we saw the film was that we really seemed like a, like a married couple with a real history and that's that's important I mean this this movie is also very much about what it is, it is to be in a long-term relationship what happens to people you know where they you know what happens to that the nature of intimacy and how they communicate and um, it can be, it's, it's so interesting because everyone feels it should be so easy and yet you realize if you've been with somebody for any length of time there's also an extraordinary amount of mystery. You, you never really know what the other person is thinking or who they are. Even after, you know, this is supposed to be after, you know, 20 years or something. They're, they're suddenly like, wait a minute, I don't know if I know you anymore. Yeah, well, it's interesting, too, because as you think you grow older with somebody, I mean, I've been married 21 years, mm -hmm. well, right? but right. you think that you should trust trust the person more, and it's funny, you said yeah. it's called trust the man, you know? Yeah. And this is just, it came to mind for me, because you, you start thinking, yeah, like, hmm, you, you, maybe you trust them less than you did when you first knew them? Or it's about the stories that you tell yourself, you know, you think, okay, I'm getting a funny you know, what's interesting to me is that she's getting this sensation that something's wrong. And instead of kind of turning in, turning to her marriage to figure out what's happening, you know, she can't quite, she's, she's sort of, you know, it's, well, it's, I think it's such a personal rejection, too, when she feels that he's turned away from her. It's like she can't turn toward him. She has to turn away from him to figure out what's going on. 
uh, you know, it's, yeah, it's complicated. And as a mom yourself, mm -hmm. being a mother to this teenage boy, your kids are getting older too. Like right. Isn't it great what you have to look forward to, Julie? <laughs> That's what they say. I don't have teenagers yet. My oldest is 11, yeah. so we're sort of heading into that. But, I, but that's the other, you know, this is a woman who feels like she's losing her husband and she feels like she's losing her child. You know, everyone's moving away from her. So who she thought she was in this family doesn't seem to exist. So she's kind of trying to find some kind of a uh, balance in that. Yeah. Um, you're also in a single man, uh, mm -hmm. also at the Toronto Film Festival. That's and right. And great news yesterday that you co-star Colin Firth got oh, no. Best Actor for this. It was wow. really exciting and and really well deserved. He's wonderful in the movie, and and it's just it's it's so nice to see that happen for somebody who 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 so deserves it. How yeah. did you like working with Tom Ford as a director? He was great. He was really great. He he's incredibly meticulous, very very prepared. He knew exactly what he wanted, and he. He um, enjoyed every single second of it too. I mean, the set was just fun, you know, thoroughly fun. I was only there. I had a you know very brief kind of period, and I think it was fun for Colin too because uh, he had had a lot of sort of very dark stuff. And then when I show up, we sort of have a like a little party. So over those few days in the set, it was like a little party. <laughs> <laughs> and did Tom do all the clothing for it too? <laughs> No, he Ariane Phillips was a designer for the movie, but of Tom, of course, was involved in every yeah. decision. Yeah. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. yeah, it was very, great. And then yeah. I saw Pippa Lee as well. And yeah. Wow, another great role. For Thank you. you. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, I have. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, good. I thought she was, you know, a little butchy too. Thank you. <laughs> My mullet. Yeah. <laughs> and the mullet was a hot And the shorts. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I wore an yeah. outfit like that in junior high, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think I could actually pull it off. Like, like lively and that. Oh, she's adorable. Yeah. What a nice girl. I mean, what a really, really nice girl she is. And she, and, and she, I love working with her. She's very alive and yeah, you know, it's really a, terrific. It's a good film. It really makes me think Rebecca Miller, man. Like, mm -hmm. boy, she's, her dad yeah. has given her good genes, mm -hmm. I can tell you that much. Now, I'm doing a little piece on um, keeping green and the environment. And, you know, what do you do, you and your family do to help kind of keep green? We do the best we can. We kind of do what everybody does. You know, we try to use, but we, we try not to use paper napkins. You know, we have cloth napkins. We recycle things. You turn, you turn off the water. You know, our kids are very good, of course, about turning off the water and turning off the lights and, and reusing things and not, maybe not shopping as much as, you know, you feel like you need to do, you know, wearing clothes for long, all, you know, all that kind of stuff. But it's, uh, it's, yeah, we're, doing what everybody else is, really. Yeah, every, every little bit helps. Mm -hmm. It seems to me like, you know, especially the three films that you're in at this festival alone, mm -hmm. there's such different roles. Yeah. You, you're so lucky that you're able to, you know, get these scripts that come to you and be so versatile. Is there mm -hmm. something still that you, you know, do you want to go back and do the stage maybe again or something different? You know, it's difficult when you have children, actually. Broadway was a great experience, but it's it, it really knocks you out of your kid's life in a way that I hadn't expected. So if I did do a play again, it would have to be a much shorter run. <laughs> Yeah. Well, congratulations. Mm -hmm. Like, you're fantastic and everything. And this, I don't know, best ask, Oscar ask? Oh, yeah. Oscar ask? Oh, <laughs> I kind of see you p picking out a nice dress for that. That's right very away. nice. Thank you're you. Very you're very kind. Always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, thank you. To talk to you. Thank you, too. You.